If you are new to Warzone or maybe you've been around for a while and are just looking to improve, today I'm giving you the ultimate guide to slide canceling, one of the most important mechanics to master in Warzone. Now, we have a bunch of different sections that I actually timestamp for you down below, starting off at a very beginner level and working our way up to a pro level where we're going to be breaking down clips and seeing how the best players use slide canceling. Feel free to jump forward to the next section at any point in time. Now, real quick before we jump in, this is going to be a great year of COD. If you are looking to get better, make sure you are subscribed down below. My whole goal is just to help you improve this year. Get more kills, die a little less, and pick up more wins. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Now, as I mentioned, we are starting from the most basic level. How do we do it? And it's important to note that if you played Warzone 1, whether it was Verdance, Caldera, Rebirth, or Fortune's Keep, how we do it has actually changed. All you need to do this year to slide cancel is hit your slide button and then your jump button. So it's sprint, slide, jump, jump and that stops you in place at which point you can make your next move. Next up, we have to talk about settings. We're going to focus on five settings that will not only make it easier for you to slide cancel, but also more effective when doing it. First up, we need to talk about our button layout, probably the most important thing. The whole goal is to keep your right thumb on the right stick as much as possible, especially when slide canceling. So I'm going to keep this very simple. If you are on a controller that has paddles or back buttons, or you like to play claw, you can play default or you can play tactical. Pros are definitely split between the two of these. Default is kind of just the default controls. And then tactical makes your right stick crouch prone slide, meaning you can slide cancel, you can drop shot by simply pressing that right stick in. Now, if you are on a normal Xbox or PlayStation controller, this is what you want to run right here. Bumper, jumper, tactical flip. And just hear me out on this one. It's going to take a lot of getting used to, but it will allow you to do exactly what I said. Keep your right thumb on the right stick while drop shotting, slide canceling, jumping, doing everything that we need to do. It is going to make your right stick crouch prone slide and your left trigger on an Xbox controller or your L2, your jump button. So like I said, you are able to basically do all the movements you need to do without taking that right thumb off the right stick. Now, next up here, we need to go to automatic sprint. We are gonna put this on automatic tactical sprint. It's gonna allow you to get into a tactical sprint much easier, much quicker, and it's gonna make your movement feel a lot more fluid. This is a setting that every single pro player is running. Now with that, the default of slide maintain sprint is actually turned off. We wanna turn this back on. This is really gonna kind of help you with dead slides. What you are doing is you are going to continue to sprint after performing a slide. Once again, making your movement more smooth. And as I mentioned, it is going to help with you not getting dead slides. Next up here, let's go down to slide and dive behavior. This is a big one right here that is different from what we just came from in Warzone 2. You wanna turn this on slide only. And a lot of people are gonna get all worked up in the comments about this, but you have to have this on slide only. If you do not put this on slide only, there is going to be a delay between when you push the button and when you actually slide. So that's going to affect our slide, our slide cancel. So we really want to make sure that this is on slide only and just work around the fact that we're not able to dolphin dive. We don't want that delay at all when it comes to sliding and slide canceling. Finally here, let's go down to dead zone inputs. This is probably one of the least talked about settings out there. I have my left stick minimum on zero and my left stick max on 60. Now keep in mind, your left stick moves your character around, so you're not really gonna get stick drift with this. What this does is basically the minimum means as soon as I push that left stick in any direction, in this case with slide canceling forward, it is going to activate that and put me into attack sprint. In terms of the max, that allows me to get to my maximum full attack sprint much quicker because it registers the full, like me being at a full tax sprint at 60% of the dead zone as opposed to 100% of the dead zone. So those are the five settings that we want to focus on. Let's go ahead and jump into the next section. So next up, let's talk about why we slide cancel. And there's three main reasons. First up, peaker's advantage. What is peaker's advantage? 
peeker's advantage basically means that the person who is peeking the angle or peeking the corner has an advantage over the person who is holding the angle. This is actually just due to the amount of time it takes for the data to travel over the internet between the players and the server. How many times have you died because you're holding an angle and an enemy flies around the corner and you feel like you died before you even see them? Generally, that's peeker's advantage. So how does that apply to slide canceling? When you slide cancel around a corner, you are going to see that enemy a split second before they see you, giving you that first shot advantage. Notice in this clip right here, I slide cancel around the corner and this enemy is looking to throw a knife me. I'm able to break him before he even lets go of his knife because of peeker's advantage and that allows me to easily get the down. Now the second thing is harder target. Movement is all about taking less damage and the more we're moving around and changing direction, the harder it is for our enemy to track us, allowing us to potentially win that gunfight. The other situation where it's important is when you're caught out in the open. Sliding and slide canceling potentially gives you the ability to get to cover, but more importantly, by slide canceling, we are a much harder target to hit. You are also constantly changing your head level when you're slide canceling, so it's going to be harder for that enemy to mix in headshots, which in essence slows down their time to kill. Once we get to cover, we can reset the fight and figure out our next move. Now, number three for why we slide cancel is creating windows, and this really goes hand in hand with being a harder target to hit. One of the biggest things that we lacked with the MW2 mechanics was the ability to create windows of opportunity. You were either shooting at an enemy who wasn't looking at you, or you were in a head-on 50-50 gunfight. Slide canceling gives us the ability in those head-on 50-50 gunfights to create a window of opportunity where we are shooting at the enemy and they are not shooting back at us, allowing us to win that gunfight. It's also crucial in those low health re-challenge situations where we're broken or low health, we have no choice but to challenge, and the only way we'll win the gunfight is if we create one of those windows. So now that we talked about why we slide cancel, let's talk about how we use it. And there are four things we're going to focus on. Number one, centering around corners and in stairwells. This is the most basic way that we use slide canceling. So many of you just run around corners, you get caught off guard in a sprint animation, and then you end up dying because of it. Instead, you want to be slide canceling around corners and centering your crosshairs where you think enemies are going to be. It's going to allow you to better anticipate enemies. And more importantly, it'll allow you to capitalize on peekers advantage helping you get that first shot off. Now, next up, we're talking about breaking cameras. And this one goes back to creating a window. Breaking someone's camera is essentially when you slide or jump around an enemy, leaving them looking in the complete wrong direction. In a normal gunfight where we are full health, this just allows us to take less damage. But learning to break cameras is crucial to winning gunfights when low health. We have to challenge, and the only way that we win the gunfight is if we use slide canceling and break their camera so that we are shooting at them and they are not shooting back at us. Quick lesson on breaking cameras, three simple steps. Step number one is to break the line of sight. Now the enemy doesn't know whether we're gonna run away or we're gonna re-challenge. Step number two is gonna be a quick tax sprint and then you're gonna slide cancel or jump to break his camera at which point you can step number three, hit your shots. Now the third thing that I wanna talk about when it comes to how we use slide canceling is timing. As you get more comfortable with slide canceling, depending on the situation that you're in, you can actually fine tune when you cancel your slide. Slide. We have our normal slide cancel, which is what we generally do around the map. Just keep in mind that you can tax sprint out of a slide cancel, but slide canceling does not reset your tax sprint. Then we have a fast slide cancel, which allows us to use a quick snappy movement in close quarters. And we have a long slide that allows us to slide around enemies and get to cover if we're caught out in the open. Now, the fourth way that we use slide canceling is advanced combinations, where we really start to win more gunfights and take less damage, especially against sweatier players is using simple movements in advanced combinations. And if you are subscribed to me, you know exactly what I'm going to say here. Remember, when we slide cancel, that stops us in place. Then from there, we can do another simple movement that makes us even more unpredictable and harder to track. You can slide cancel and then strafe. You can slide cancel and then drop shot. You can slide cancel and then jump. Or my favorite, which is even more advanced, is going to be a slide cancel and then you jump back in the direction that you came from. This causes them to overcorrect side to side and the jump allows you to hit headshots while they're hitting your legs. Now let's go ahead and jump into some pro clips here and really see how pros use slide canceling to finesse full teams. Now we're going to be breaking down three different clips here. One from Knight, one from Biffle, and the first one here is actually from myself. I'm a 4KD player and this was just a super clean 1v3 where I was really using slide canceling well to my advantage. I'll play the clip and then we'll break it down. 
That thing's a burst. Oh my gosh, chat. Okay, so let's go ahead and break this down. Like I said, just a super clean 1v3. And while we're breaking it down, I'm just going to point out the different things that we've talked about in this video. First up right here, sly cancel around the corner, center our crosshairs. Now, I'm able to get the down. I'm still using this pistol, so I go ahead and grab the swarm. Now, I did kind of hear this guy pushing in. What I didn't realize is that there was a second enemy right behind. So there is our re-challenge, right? We break the line of sight. We slide cancel around the corner. This guy's camera is broken. Then what's going to happen? He's going to overcorrect, and I'm able to kind of give myself that window of opportunity. But like I said, I did not realize this guy was here. So we use a quick slide cancel to turn around. We're able to get that down. Now we use slide canceling in this moment to be able to get away and break this line of sight, at which point we can start to work our way around. Of course, I get caught with one behind me now. So a little bit tough situation. We slide cancel around the corner right here. I'm out of ammo, so we swap. We're going to slide cancel right there to kind of give ourselves an opportunity. And then from this point, we just kind of play a little bit smart here. We're going to get this thirst, at which point I see the guy on my level around the corner. So let's go ahead and challenge this immediately. Very basic slide canceling tactics that I used in this clip. Okay, so next up, we got a clip here from Biffle. Nice little 1v4. And what we're going to see here is the balance between movement and positioning. Slide canceling is great to use, but we don't always have to use it. Oh, yeah, dude, that's going to hit. That's going to hit. That's going to hit. I love that. I like that. I like that. Amazing f***ing job. Rep it. It's time. No, he just devered, bro. So what is it? Five? Go. Oh, damn. Only the world champ would do that. No, 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 not the world champ. Oh, that's the champ for you. He's been like, I'll make a pose. Oh my god, he got this guy in the last of the sauce. Oh my god, the third. He's the rage out of this team. Oh! He spit on. Come on! So obviously, Biffle's hands down one of the best players in the world. And this is a nasty 1v4. But let's break this down to basics. Let's keep this very simple. Now, he gets that first down and thirst. Notice this isn't resurgence. This is normal BR. He's by himself right here. Now, as he goes to peek this doorway, he gets broken, gets put in a really tough spot. So what do we do? Sprinting while plating, slide canceling to get away, breaking that line of sight. Now, this is where I kind of intro this and said the balance between positioning and movement. You don't always have to be running and gunning. Sometimes you could just play a little bit smart. He's going to wait for this guy, and this is the situation a lot of you get caught in. You turn the corner, you're not ready, your crosshairs are not out, and you go down before you even realize what happened. Now, right here, he's gonna challenge this sweat around the corner who also has pretty good movement, but what do we notice? That is the simple movements in advanced combinations right here. So let's slow this down for a second. We're gonna see the slide cancel, crosshairs are out. He's gonna stop it, and then he's gonna jump to his right, right there. Now. Because of the TTK and how fast it is, he gets broken as well, but now he's in a much better position. Quick reload here, and that guy, of course, challenge him, challenges him. There's enemy number three. So we shut the door. Why do we shut the door? Play unpredictable. This guy doesn't know whether you're running away, whether you're going to push back through. He has no idea. So that's exactly what Biffle does. Little slide cancel to get behind cover right there. He's able to get that down with just crazy movement, which I am doing a full movement guide at some point uh, in the near future for you, oh but God, then God, we God. go ahead once again. We just finish this off centering around the corner jump peek backwards or kind of jump backwards to open up that FOV So you don't always have to jump side to side Sometimes in those super close quarters You can jump back and open up that FOV a little bit and you can easily get that kill So let's go ahead on to Knight's clip, which is absolutely insane
I do want to make one comment before we break this down. Knight is hands down one of the best players in the world. I'm not expecting you to be able to go out in 1v4 teams because you watched a video on how to slide cancel. But what we can learn from this is the importance of the basics and how when we piece it together, we can start to win more gunfights and fight outnumbered. What we're going to see a lot of in this clip because he's being pushed by multiple enemies is constantly moving and looking for little windows of opportunity where he can get a down. Now, on top of that, we're going to be using movement and slide canceling to take less damage and whatnot. But let's go ahead and jump in here. Now, right here, he's going to go center around the corner to challenge this guy, but he gets shot in the back. So we immediately go for a rechallenge. Step number one, the line of sight is broken, which means we can play a little bit more unpredictable. We go ahead and rechallenge there. Camera's broken, but this guy is in absolute sweat here and is able to adjust really well. So what does Knight do? Little jump to the left allows him to hit that headshot. Now, where do we go from here? Sprinting while plating and slide canceling. That's really how we start to outplay enemies. Pressure is on them to revive, so he is right back in here. Watch him push back in here. Challenge around the corner, centering the crosshairs. A little bit of a jump to the right. He's able to get that down. So we're seeing a lot of centering, a lot of that advanced combination, that simple movements and advanced combination component where we're slide canceling into a jump. Now, what do we see at this moment is actually a slide cancel to a strafe. There's the centering around the corner. And he just strafes left to kind of get behind cover. He's going to go ahead and get a thirst. Finally, he's down to a 1v2 at this point. Pressure is on them to revive. So what do we do? We challenge around the corner. We center our crosshairs. We're going to take out this guy right here. And then he just finishes it off in the 1v1 fight, which was a tough one. But he ultimately was able to win it. So I hope you found today's video helpful. As I always say, let's get better today. And I will see you tomorrow.